morning. I wrap sting with your morning flash update, and this update is for Wednesday, the 12th of July, 2023. And the time right now, 7.40 p.m. Central Time. I'm way earlier than I normally go, but why not? We have the CPI number out. So before we go looking at the markets, why don't we go take a look at that? First, we had the mortgage market numbers. And in all categories, we saw an increase, even though you've got these high rates. So people want to buy, think about it. We're in the June, July timeframes where people go out and they get homes. U.S. consumer CPI. Overnight, there was a shift down. Now, yesterday, the consensus that I was reading in different sites was 5.0 to 5.2%. Kept shifting down. This morning, it came in around 4.9% to 5.2. And as it turns out, when we go into the June Core X food, you can see where you're at. And as you keep coming here on this number and we drop down, you see you come in. This is the key number, 4.8% versus the expected 5. So that number kept shifting down. The prior month was 5.3%. As we take a look at month over month, up two tenths, they expected it up three tenths. June Core X food and energy uh, on a month over month was up two tenths. They expected up three tenths. Energy prices did climb. They'll probably climb again. They've been going up most of July. Food prices have been stable. That's the, probably the right word to use there. The CPI price index up 3%. A year ago, it was up 9%. But I'm going to repeat. That two-thirds drop was the easy stuff to drop. The hard part's in the core. So the argument will come out now, do we go, first of all, I think July's baked in. This will not take the Fed off a 25 basis point hike. I feel very confident about that. The big question is, do they do anything in September? And I'm definitely on the sideline in my thinking. I've heard people go 75 basis points are still needed. I don't think so. I think the question is, what does the data show? Now, if the data were to go up from here, I think then you've, it's a given. You're going to keep going up. The question is, do they go up in September? I don't know. Even though the Fed wanted to go too, you know, you start looking at things, you say, okay, we're under the 5% number. I think that's magical in itself. And what if you get down to 4.5%, 4.6% as we get into the August numbers, and then we get those numbers going into September? That's why I'm saying it. So I think you'd be very patient with that. We have a number of Fed speakers out today, so be aware of that. We've got Bostic, we've got Barkin speaking. Um, who else do we have? Uh, there's one more that I know. Ah, Mester. I know she was going to speak. New Zealand, as expected, they held their cash rates steady, and the talk is when are they going to cut rates, not go up on them. In just a little bit here, we're going to get the Bank of Canada's announcement. They're expected to go up 25 basis points. At 9.30, we get the EIA report. And for you grain traders, you're going to get your USDA supply demand report coming up very shortly here at 11 o'clock. So the stock market, obviously, it likes what it sees. The gold market, I could see an argument for the 1970 level. If you look at the end of the day, we've been pointing in our end of the day review that that could be a number the market goes to. The dollar, have I not said at the end of the day reviews? I think you've made a major dollar top. I think it's here. I think the currencies you want to look at are the euro, the Swiss franc. I think the pound's going to get another hike. Now, you might ask, why is the yen rallying on all this? Because the world is still scared of uh, recessions. And if you go back, one of the safe haven currencies is the yen. So it's out of that melees down. The, in reality, the Bank of Japan did not have to walk in and do anything. The yen on its own has come off those deep values. I don't think it's going to visit those for a very long time. We're getting a lot of rain across the Midwest right now. It's not impacting in a negative way beans or corn. Bonds and notes, you would expect to rally off this news. You are, in fact, getting it. And on the energy markets, as I told you, once the Biden administration told the market they're going to buy more energy, it wasn't going to stay down. Of course, they timed it perfectly with OPEC doing, uh, saying more cuts coming. And instead of 68, you're sitting here in WTI at 75. Uh, it's still a good buy for the Biden administration, given they sold this out uh, from the reserves in the 80s and 90s. So that it would still be a good replacement. Let's hope they go ahead with it. On the energy markets, I'm going to warn you, all you see on the national news in America is uh, they're going to set record temperatures in Phoenix, Vegas, 
Florida. I write today about what's happening off in Florida and the coral reefs, how you've got to be looking because the ocean's so warm, and you're still not able to rally nat gas. When markets don't respond to bullish environment issues, you got to be careful. You could be going down bigger than you think, and that's how I look at it. So I'm going to be writing today about all this. I got up early today. I've written half the market letter. I'd like you to see it. I'd like you to see how I write, what I do. I do two letters a day, Monday through Thursday, one Fridays, one Sunday night for the traders. I'd like to put it in your hands so you get to see what I do. And then I back it up with morning subscriber videos, both in the ETFs and the futures markets. I'll give you a specific entry ideas on long-term from the weekly charts, short-term from the daily charts. Yes, we cover both ends for you, and we track what we're doing on the trades that are open. I don't publish track records per se, but it'd be foolish for me to say buy here, buy here, buy there. You get a buy, and I don't finish up the trade, win or lose. You will see losers. You will see winners, okay? Just how it's all working out with it. How do you get this? Go to our website, under free offers, or move your cursor right up here for free offers. You'll see an icon, give it a click, away you go. You can also do it the old fashioned way. Call my staff, they'll get you set up while you're on the phone with them. I'm Ira, interesting to see the CPI number. I'll see you tonight with our market wrap ups. Take care.